been a spectacular fall from grace for Michael Kerris. At one time, he was a lawyer with a firm started by his father, but following reports of financial irregularities, he was suspended in 2002 and hasn't practiced since. This evening, he's beginning a three-and-a-half-year jail term for embezzling more than £400,000 from a dead pensioner's estate. The Law Society says his suspension is now likely to become permanent when he's prosecuted before the Scottish Solicitor's Discipline Tribunal. In previous cases where this type of uh, situation has arisen, the tribunal have decided to formally strike a solicitor off the role of solicitors, which means they can never practice as a solicitor again. Michael Carris's crime came to light after workers at Cancer Research began to investigate why they hadn't received a bequest they'd been informed about. Unknown to him, a company existed which notifies charities of any um, estates that have been left to their benefit. However, there was a subsequent will, and what Michael Carris had done was to play one off against the other, stating that each was the, the beneficiary, despite the fact that neither of them had received the money from the estate. Sentencing Carris, the sheriff told him this was a grave breach of trust. You were formerly a solicitor, he said, having been suspended by the Law Society. In my view, he added, the public are entitled to expect people like you acting in a position of trust to display the utmost integrity. You have clearly failed to do so in this case. The sheriff said Karras would have served five years in prison were it not for his guilty plea and the fact he'd lodged money with the court to cover the embezzled sum. Susie Mayer, STV News.